When there are negative stereotypes about the groups that you belong to in the air, it can interfere with your actual performance because of the anxiety that if you do poorly, you will confirm the negative rep about your people. So think about, like, what does that mean for me? Like, so let's say I'm like on Wilshire Boulevard, I have to parallel park. There's a lot of pressure, right? People are honking, all kinds of stuff. People are looking at me. It's the Asian guy. Can he parallel park? Can he pull this off? You might think like, well, I didn't know of that stereotype. Like, come to L.A., right? So, you know, it's either I'm like fast and furious doing kind of donuts at Japanese races, or I can't parallel park. It's one or the other, right? You have no idea what I'm talking about. So I watch bad movies. So, um, so the idea is, does it create a certain kind of anxiety that leads me to choke on performances? And you might think, well, why, why would that happen? Uh, and what's the mechanism? The mechanism seems to be all kinds of things, including increasingly a disruption of what we call working memory, which is really important to do challenging tasks. Let me give you some sense of what the evidence looks like and, uh, and, and tell me what you think, right? So Claude Steele uh, starts this research back in the mid-1990s, right? Uh, and the implicit bias work right, starts in the 1997, 1998, so it's all happening fairly in the past uh, 15 years or so. He takes black Stanford students, and he gives them a verbal GRE student. So I mean, these are black Stanford students. They're all already quite talented and got uh, to a pretty elite level. But he tries to give one group of students under what he calls the threat condition, right? And he tells them, this is a test of your innate ability. It's like an IQ test. There is a stereotype in America, arguably one of the longest stereotypes on a- about African-American people, that they are intellectually inferior, right? The violence and aggressiveness is the other stereotype that has been incredibly uh, influential in the trajectory of African-Americans. But the idea of intellectual, not quite up to snuff, is a stereotype that we are aware of. N- none of us have it, of course. But we know that this has existed in American society. In a no-threat condition, he takes half of them randomized and says, uh, you know what, this is just homework. Just do the homework. Crazy results. Again, from the back you can't see. On the left, it's called diagnostic. On the right, the two columns are called non-diagnostic. Diagnostic means we called it an IQ test. Whites completely overperform African Americans. When you call it just homework, there are statistically insignificant differences. Why would calling the same verbal GRE task an IQ test versus just work change performance? That's just nutty. And yet Steele with people like Spencer back in 97 do this with women and math because the stereotype with women is you can't do math.